All right, guys, 06 Silverado. Okay, rack and pinion time. All right, now I've done most of the work. I took the uh, cotter pin out on the tie rod, the castle nut, left it on a little bit so I could knock it loose a little bit here, and I'm leaving these intact for measuring purposes. But uh, I had to, of course, take out a 15 16 I had a lock on this side, use a breaker bar to break the other side. There's two big bolts, this is a 15 16 that holds that rack and pinion onto that front frame. And you can see this side is loose. It's now off. The big bolt is still there up here. All right, so now you gotta get this steering column off that rack and pinion also. And uh, it's a small bolt. And you can do it from up top in this truck. And you can see down here, let me, uh, let me get a stool, get a flashlight in here, and I'll show you if I can, down here, your, your steering, now make sure you've locked your steering column in place, but if you take this little bolt out, it'll pull off the rack and pinion, you know, so I've taken that out and pried it a little bit. So it slipped right off there. Now, just as a reminder, lock the steering in place. I've locked it with several devices. Got a little block in the seat, seat belt, and a tie down to keep it in place. And over here on this side, real quick, you can see I've taken the outer tie rod loose. I've also unbolted it. It's off the steering column now. So let me get down here. And you can see it's just being held now by that one bolt that I'm supposed to pull. Then I'm gonna slide that rack and pinion down and slide it out over on the passenger side. And uh, then we'll be ready to start with installation of a new one. All right, now I showed you how I had uh, disconnected the steering over here using this bolt, uh, taking that bolt out and I uh, have released it and then I showed you how I had taken the big bolts of the 15 16 off of the frame now look at this high pressure hose here this is a three quarter on one side and a five eighths nut to loosen this but I'm gonna need to get this loose I'm gonna replace this anyway uh, but I'm gonna get it loose now so that I can get this rack and pinion out put a new one in so I am replacing the high pressure and the return, but it's gonna leak a little bit. So I've got it loose and then I'm gonna drop this and get uh, remove this return also with a, just a pair of pliers. Then I'll be able to take the entire rack and pinion out. All right, and then I'm gonna replace these hoses and stuff as I go. And I'm probably gonna put an inline uh, filter in this this time. All right, so follow along. All right, guys, I actually ended up pulling this out on the driver's side. Uh, but I thought I'd show you. This is the rack and pinion now laying out here. Here's that high-pressure hose that we took off in that last video. Notice it has a washer here on the end. It was been leaking. That's why I'm going to replace all this. But there she is. She's out. Now, you notice I left my end tie rods on because I'm going to take my new when I'm going to line it up and... and uh, and you know, normally you do the count, how I many counts and turns it would take to take those end rods off. Instead, I'm going to basically line up my new to the old and measure exactly the same distance by tying them together first and then reinstalling it. All right, so more to come. All right, guys, I thought I'd show you this now. Here's that new Edelman uh, 2015. And, uh, what I was telling you earlier, I left those uh, in outer tie rods on. You can see I've taken one of the bolts and put these together so I can uh, make sure they perfectly match. And I'll put those outer tie rods on to match exactly what it was before. And uh, here comes the packet. I had the uh, rack and pinion and look, they, I've got all the entire 
hose kits too, high pressure hose, return hose, and so forth here, all in the box. So looks like a pretty good setup here. Uh, so I'll come back and capture a video of installation at some point here shortly uh, when I put my outer tie rods and all on. But otherwise, uh, I'll put my high pressure hoses and all on and then reinsert it, reinstall it. And that'll complete that rack and pinion. And then I'll move on to the other parts.